So yeah. let's start with your initial thoughts or assessments of the comments from um, Kennedy Japan saying that the party should apologize for the economic woes that we're experiencing and that would probably steer the voters in their favor. What do you make of that? Well, I think that the, the character of new politics, I mean, in my own discipline, political marketing, uh, we say that politics has long moved from those ideological dogmatic periods to a very much customer-centric era. And when we talk about customer-centric, we mean that institutions firstly owes their existence to the customer, and in this case, to the voter. In this era, uh, institutions actually own up their failures and they apologize to customers. And then they tell customers what else they can do to rectify the situation and to make their lives better. Because your profitability is a function of the customer's continuous engagement with you. And so the wisdom in what Ken is actually saying is that if you had promised people, just like companies would promise in their value proposition to say, if you buy my product, this and that is what you're going to get. The same way, if political parties promise voters and say, we're going to do X, Y, and they don't happen to do it, those days you find political parties attributing you know, the reasons why they didn't actually you know, achieve. And they would try to convince you in a modern political party system or a modern campaign system. So you do not do that. You first of all own up your failures. You apologize. And then you can tell the voters your new approach, hoping that they would actually forgive you. So I understand purely what Kennedy Japan is saying. And that's the new spirit of politics or political engagement uh, globally. So what weight does this hold? For the party, I mean, in, we have just four or five months to elections 2024. Is this what the voting population actually need from the party then? Well, of course, the voter needs so many things. I mean, having to admit your fail failures and apologizing doesn't mean that that's the final vote. But of course, it gives an impression to the voter that you appreciate their existence and you understand the new time. And so certainly you do not want to be pandering people uh, by just giving out, you know, uh, fake, you know, apologies. People have to really be convinced that you are very passionate about what you're saying. People have to be really convinced that you are showing remorse. And then, of course, you come to that agreement that you somehow understand the new times. And of course, if there you know, feelings will be to vote for you, they do. And if they still think that you have to go, then of course the decision is the voter. So we're not saying that that's the all in all. We're saying that the new political posture is that you own up your failures, you apologize, and then you draw up the new way of, you know, uh, things that, that could happen.